The border between myth and reality is sometimes blurred. Nonetheless, some urban legends have shockingly genuine origins. Thus, here is a list of 15 paranormal urban legends that turned out to be true. One of the most terrifying urban legends is the story of the Bunny Man, which is hidden away in the dark shadows of Fairfax County, Virginia. This creepy figure has been seen roaming the back roads, clutching a bloodstained axe, and wearing a ragged rabbit costume. According to tradition, there once was a maniac who broke free from a local institution, hiding out in the shadowy woods and terrorizing anybody who ventured near him. Thus, the horrific truth of this story emerged in the 1970s when several reports of a man dressing as a rabbit and threatening passersby with an axe surfaced. In one horrific incident, the bunny man himself abruptly destroyed a couple's automobile after they had parked it next to an abandoned bridge. They were shocked by the shattered glass, the huge gashes in the automobile, and the terrifying sight of the bunny man. Furthermore, the Bunny Man never made it out of the region, despite many police investigations, which led to rumors that he was still out there ready to terrorize unsuspecting people. Also, the mythology of the Bunny Man is still very much alive and frightening today, with residents talking in whispers about the spot where weird sightings and unexplainable events still happen. The Charlie No-Face, or the Green Man, is a chilling tale told in the dark hills of Pennsylvania to those brave enough to listen. Additionally, people in the area have been whispering for decades about a shimmering, deformed ghostly figure that haunts the night and is said to portend terrible things. The legend's real story, however, is considerably more sinister. The Green Man, Raymond Robinson, was a genuine person who had a terrible childhood injury. Raymond was injured by a high-voltage wire as he climbed a power line at the age of eight in order to see birds. He was terribly damaged as a consequence of the shock, his nose and eyes obliterated, and his face permanently scared in a hideous mask that was unpleasant to see. Raymond, shunned by society, avoided drawing attention to himself by going out only at night. Also, his uncanny look and habit of going alone in the middle of the night made him a living urban legend. When drivers got a sight of him, they were often so startled that they thought they had seen a demon. One of the scariest modern urban legends is the story of the black-eyed children about whom strange sightings have been documented all across the world. These terrible beings, sometimes characterized as pale, soulless children with jet black eyes, are said to show up at automobiles or on doorsteps and persistently request permission to enter. Though their demands seem harmless, many who deal with them report feeling a great feeling of fear. The legend's beginnings are unclear, but in the late 1990s, a journalist in Texas reported seeing two little boys with coal black eyes approach him. A deep terror immobilized him as they begged to get inside his automobile. The children became more and more demanding as he refused, their voices sounding unnervingly calm yet demanding. Terrified, he drove off, only to discover that the children were nowhere to be found. What's really scary about this mythology is how reliable the reports are. The same eerie children have been reported by witnesses in other states and even foreign nations. These reports are often accompanied by odd occurrences like broken gadgets, terrified animals, and an unexplained chill in the air. The Stanley Hotel is perched high in the Colorado Rockies. This iconic hotel, which served as the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining, is not just the setting for scary stories, but also a popular destination for spooky experiences that have left guests terrified. Both visitors and employees have related spine-tingling occurrences that happened within the hotel. The most well-known haunting is associated with Room 217, where King himself stayed and drew inspiration for his book. Reports of inexplicable footsteps, self-moving items, and even the sensation of unseen hands tucking them into bed have all been made by visitors to this room. Also, these weird phenomena are said to be caused by the spirit of a previous housekeeper who perished in an explosion in the room. Another hub for paranormal activity is the hotel's main ballroom. Oftentimes, visitors may hear music resonating through the deserted hall or see the ghost of a solitary dancing lady. Furthermore, the piano has a habit of playing itself in the eerie stillness of the night, 
as if some invisible performers were rehearsing old songs. The Stanley Hotel is now known as one of the most haunted locations in America because of these terrible experiences, which attract thrill-seekers and ghost hunters from all over the globe. The Legend of Cropsey, which is rumored among kids on Staten Island, New York, is a story about a violent lunatic who waits in the darkness to kidnap those who go too far from safety. The mythology became true and disturbing in the 1980s when kids started going missing. Furthermore, these kidnappings were connected to Andrew Rand, a former caretaker at the notorious Willowbrook State School, which was closed down due to horrifying circumstances. Cropsey, who was formerly a fictitious character, was exposed as a real-life predator. Thus, Rand was ultimately found guilty of the abduction and killing of many children. What was once just a ghost story meant to frighten kids has turned into a terrifying, true nightmare, demonstrating that the creatures we most dread may sometimes be horrifyingly real. When residents woke up in the winter of 1855 in Devon, England, they were surprised and confused to see thousands of hoof-like footprints etched into the freshly fallen snow. The enigmatic footprints, which are now referred to as the Devil's Footprints, extended for more than a hundred kilometers across towns, waterways, roofs, and even walls, seemingly defying the natural rules of existence. Also, the imprints seemed to be created by cloven hooves and were approximately four inches long and eight to twelve inches apart. The locals were most astonished and scared by the fact that these tracks seemed to be everywhere, with no indication of the monster that created them. Also, many were tempted to conclude from the footprints that the devil himself had visited them that evening and left his imprint on the planet. One of the most notorious and horrifying urban legends in America dates back to Adams, Tennessee in the early 1700s and is associated with the Bell Witch. In other words, the Bell family is at the heart of the story. They were the object of a persistent, evil force that would later be identified as the Bell Witch. Unsettling noises like scratching, pounding, and shackles being dragged across the floor signaled the start of the haunting. However, the creature gradually became more violent in its torture, targeting family members, especially John Bell and his daughter Betsy. So, Betsy was left battered and scared after suffering vicious slaps and pinches, while John Bell was often hit by unseen hands. The witch, whose voice was supposedly that of a woman, would threaten and tease the Bell family making it obvious that she intended to murder John Bell. Following years of agony, John Bell passed away in 1820, and the Bell Witch claimed responsibility, saying she had poisoned him. Following John's death, the Bell Witch haunted the family once again, creating a legacy of mystery and horror that endures to this day. Many visitors to the location of the Bell family property have reported weird and unexplainable incidents, solidifying the legend of the Bell Witch as one of the most well-documented and widely accepted paranormal stories in America. The Mothman, one of the creepiest and most mysterious figures in American folklore, stalks the little West Virginian town of Point Pleasant. The story began in November 1966 when two young couples witnessed a monster hovering above their car, measuring approximately 10 feet in wingspan and with blazing red eyes. Also, the Mothman was characterized as a humanoid figure with high-pitched crying and wings that allowed it to soar at incredible speeds. Throughout the 1970s, a number of sightings were reported, with witnesses saying they had seen the Mothman lurking near the abandoned TNT plant on the outskirts of town. Additionally, the creature materialized concurrently with other strange incidents in Point Pleasant, including reports of UFO sightings and enigmatic black-clad men frightening the locals. Furthermore, the Silver Bridge, which linked Point Pleasant to Ohio, suddenly collapsed on December 15, 1967, killing 46 people. Therefore, this event is considered the most horrifying incident associated with the Mothman folklore. We still don't know the true nature of the Mothman, whether it was a cryptid, a supernatural entity, or merely widespread hysteria. The Mothman story, with its sinister appearance permanently etched into American paranormal literature, never fails to captivate and terrify.
The legend of Slenderman is a modern urban myth that sprang from the depths of the internet. It quickly surpassed its whimsical origins and became a nightmare for people. The tall, anonymous figure known only as Slenderman is eerily slender, with tentacle-like limbs, and is dressed in a black outfit. He is reported to pursue children, luring them into the forest where they disappear from sight. The enigmatic photos, videos, and many narratives that began circulating online in 2009 began as a joke on the Something Awful forums. However, the fatal potency of this story became stunningly evident in 2014 when two 12-year-old girls in Wisconsin lured their classmate into the woods and violently stabbed her 19 times, claiming they were doing it to appease Slender Man. They believed that by doing this terrible crime, they might turn into his proxies and protect their families. Even though the victim miraculously survived, the occurrence startled people all around the world, demonstrating how deeply the story had embedded itself in the brains of those who believed in it. For more than two centuries, the deep, eerie pine barrens of New Jersey have been plagued by the Jersey Devil, a horrific mythology. Thus. The Jersey Devil is described as a hideous creature with a goat-like head, bat-like wings, cloven hooves, a forked tail, and a spine-tingling shriek that reverberates through the nighttime woods. The Devil is said to have been born in 1735 to Mother Leeds, a lady who cursed the kid and said it would be the Devil himself after learning she was expecting her 13th child. Also, when the baby gained wings, it soared out of the chimney and vanished into the forest, becoming a hideous beast. Numerous sightings and interactions interactions with the Jersey Devil have occurred since then, especially in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Furthermore, the beast gained notoriety in 1909 during a week-long terror rampage around the area. Newspaper stories of assaults on cattle, odd tracks, and even police reports of seeing the beast caused panic. Fearing another encounter with this terrible entity, the town's citizens decided to arm themselves and close the schools. Even while detractors claim the Jersey Devil is really a myth, the sheer number of reported sightings and the horror it has instilled over the ages indicate that there may be something genuinely wicked hiding in the Pine Barrens, which is what keeps the legend alive. The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California is a labyrinth of creepy corridors, staircases that go nowhere, doors that open into walls, and here is why. Sarah Winchester was certain she was tormented by the ghosts of those killed by the rifle of her husband, William Wirt Winchester. So, an unknown warning missled her into believing that she would be able to avoid dying herself and that the only way to appease the evil spirits was to keep adding on to her house. For 38 years, Sarah oversaw the construction giving rise to one of the most unusual and eerie houses in all of America. The house has 47 stairs, 13 bathrooms, 160 rooms, and a myriad of unusual features like windows on the floor, doorways that open to sheer drops, and staircases that lead to ceilings, all of which are meant to spook and see spirits. Also, the house has 13 pane windows and a 13-step stairway, two instances of Sarah's obsession with the number 13, which is sometimes associated with bad luck and the paranormal. But that's not all. Real stories told by visitors to the Winchester Mystery House vary from hearing voices to seeing Sarah's ghost. A terrifying story that has frightened generations across Latin America is the legend of La Llorona, often known as the Weeping Woman. The tradition is that La Llorona was once Maria, a lovely lady who fell in love with a rich man. But when he left her for someone else, Maria lost it all and, in a fit of wrath, drowned her two little children. She hurled herself into the river, drowning as well, realizing the horror of what she had done. She did not, however, find peace in death. La Llorona's soul is destined to walk the land forever, wailing pitifully and sending shivers down anybody who hears her sob for her lost children along riverbanks and lakes. Hey, Miss Hiyos, oh my children, exclaims the demonic lady, who is often shown wearing white and hiding her face behind a veil. According to legend, if you hear her screams, you have to run immediately because if La Llorona finds you, she could assume you for one of her own kids and bring you to a shallow grave. In addition, many people have claimed to have heard her screams or seen her ghostly form near rivers, according to the tradition that has been handed down through the decades. 
Because of its infamous history filled with murder and misery, Waverly Hills Sanatorium near Louisville, Kentucky, is recognized as one of the most haunted places on Earth. Established in 1910 as a hospital for TB patients, it served as a last resort for people afflicted with the fatal illness for which there was no treatment at the time. Its walls saw the deaths of thousands of patients, their agony exacerbated by cruel procedures like electroshock therapy and experimental surgery. At Waverly Hills, an estimated 63,000 people died, transforming the building into a veritable horror house. The Body Chute a 500-foot tunnel designed to covertly transfer the deceased to keep other patients from seeing the overwhelming amount of corpses is one of the most unsettling aspects of the sanatorium. Today, this tunnel is a hub for paranormal activity. Guests have reported hearing phantom voices, experiencing chilly places that make no sense, and even feeling as if someone is watching them. The most well-known ghost said to haunt Waverly Hills is the one from room 502. Legend has it that a single pregnant nurse committed suicide in the chamber after learning she had tuberculosis. It's said that her spirit, along with the spirits of several other people who died in agony, still wanders the corridors, trapped in the place where they suffered eternally. In addition to ending a promising career, James Dean's sad death in 1955 gave rise to a terrifying folklore around his Porsche 550 Spider, which was ominously called Little Bastard. So, the world was stunned by Dean's deadly vehicle wreck on a California highway, but the real tragedy struck when the car seemed to be cursed. As a result, Little Bastard's wreckage was quickly sold to renowned auto customizer George Barris. However, the first of many odd and fatal accidents occurred when the automobile slid while being unloaded from the truck, crushing the mechanic's knees. Furthermore, the parts of the automobile seemed to be cursed when they were sold to various buyers. Soon after, two doctors purchased the engine and gearbox. One of them was killed in an accident, while the other was seriously hurt when his car flipped. That was not the end of the curse. Even after Little Bastard's remains were on display to deter careless driving, tragedy still struck. Unexpectedly catching fire in storage, the automobile subsequently evaporated in the process and was never seen again. The whereabouts of James Dean's death car are still unknown. One of the most notorious urban legends in American history, the Amityville Horror is based on a terrifying true incident that happened at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. Ronald DeFeo Jr., then 23 years old, killed his parents and four brothers in cold blood on November 13, 1974, while they were sleeping. Also, he subsequently claimed that he was inspired to carry out the horrific act by voices in his home. On the other side, the Lutz family moved into the home a year after the killings, without knowing of its horrific background. As a result, horrible occurrences struck them almost immediately. Windows and doors banged shut, swarms of insects emerged out of season, and terrible scents filled the rooms. Seeing a fiery red-eyed demonic pig-like creature, and discovering a hidden room in the basement were the two most scary experiences for the Lutz family. Thus, in a span of only 28 days, the Lutz family abandoned their possessions and left the house in fear. Their story, which was later adapted into books and films, caused a sensation even though its authenticity has been called into question. Whether or not the urban legend is true, the Amityville horror story never fails to frighten and enthrall, serving as a chilling reminder of the evil powers that some people think still reside in that cursed house. For more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. Comment below which case you find the most terrifying, and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications.